Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the webinar. This is Star alongside Airbnb, and this is uh, in a series of webinars which we've been doing. And this time we've included Airbnb. As you know, it's one of an important channel that we've been integrated with. And uh, we want, we would like actually most of our properties to look at uh, being listed in there. And hence we've got them on board. So I have Matt and Pauline from Airbnb uh, also who are based in Sydney at the webinar. So uh, I'll begin now. Hello. So, Hi, there you go. So, so you got Matt and uh, Pauline right in Sydney. So, what a way to have a webinar with few people in Auckland, few people in Sydney, and the world watching us. So, thank you, Matt and Pauline, for joining in and and putting on this presentation. So, uh, I'll begin with few housekeeping rules. Is uh, firstly, we will make sure everyone is muted so that. Uh, they don't button the presentation, but feel free to ask any questions at the end of the presentation. So uh, we're putting an open question and answer session. So feel free to ask any questions post that. Uh, we have a hundred dollar travel voucher given by Airbnb to one lucky participant. And we will select that at the end of the uh, presentation. So. Having said that, uh, without further ado, I'll begin our uh, webinar. If you can all see your screen uh, right here. So that's today, Tuesday, the 25th of June. And I'll stop my video so that it, it will stop a little bend itself. Uh, um, yep, yeah, welcome. Something about myself, I'm Edwin, I'm the regional manager here in Oceania and I've been with Star over five years, feels a long time uh, and I've seen the company grow uh, from a small company that we were a few properties. Now we work with over 8,000 properties in 80 countries and really proud to be working with a dynamic company like Star to see that growing. This is the range of products that we have, uh, right from channel manager to booking engine for distribution, to instant websites, gift voucher, and the review minder. So these are a range of products that you've got to increase your online revenue. Quite mad. Just give me a second. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> the mouse disappeared. Sorry. A uh, few of the past webinars are on our YouTube page. So if you're interested to have a look around, um, there's some webinars basically on how to generate more bookings. Um, we've done a webinar on GDS, so feel free to go to our YouTube page and have a look at the webinars, the past webinars that we've done. Star uh, integrated with Airbnb in late 2018. Uh, we now have a connection with Airbnb in two ways. Uh, we call it one is a full sync, which syncs availability and uh, rates and content into Airbnb. And the second one is just the limited sync, which just does rates and availability. And this has really been um, an important channel to us to do the content API that we term it as. To push content uh, to another channel is unique and it hasn't happened in other of the channels. In fact, the other channels are also adding on as we go. But Airbnb was one of the pioneers to do that. And we're quite excited to get this underway late last year. Having said that, as you know, we put out the top uh, 10 channels in every few months. And this was way back in 2018, at the end of 2018, uh, the top 10 channels, uh, this is in New Zealand and Australia. Uh, and if you see Airbnb doesn't feature in this mix here, but I can see with the statistics that we've got that is creeping up into the top 10 channels. and. 
Uh, that's the reason for us to have this webinar for you as a property to decide whether you want to be uh, listed in it, uh, hence to increase your online distribution. So on the panel today, we've got Matt and Pauline from Airbnb. And without further ado, uh, they'll take over and do the presentation for the rest of the time. So Matt, uh, one minute, I'll just mute you. Unmute you, sorry. Yeah, Matt. Yes, can you all hear right. me? Yes, Matt, all yours. Wonderful, thank you very much for that great in, uh, introduction to kind of the Airbnb and the connection. Um, for those of you who are listening, thank you very much for joining this session. Um, we hope you get a lot out of it um, for spending about 45 minutes with us today. And the idea is, I guess we'll first introduce ourselves um, so you get to know a little bit about the Airbnb Sydney team that works across the Australian New Zealand market. Um, but also I think the highlight for us is to kind of walk you through what the Airbnb connection is um, via STA and uh, how to not only get connected, but also ensure that you live and are successful using our channel. Um, so with that, I'll just give you a quick intro so you know who I am. My name is Matt Olson. I am an API partner manager. Um, and worked uh, hard with Edwin on getting this uh, channel connected to uh, STA. And I've been with Airbnb for about just over four years now, working across Australia and New Zealand. So, you know, we've had exponential growth uh, since inception out here. And I've been fortunate enough, I believe when I started about four years ago, we had just over 15,000 Airbnb listings across Australia. And today we're sitting at you know, well over 100,000 listings. So that just kind of shows you a testament of our product and growth in the market. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I'll let Pauline kind of say a few words about her so you, you, you meet another one of our team members. Hi everyone. Uh, yes, yeah, so thanks for joining today. Uh, as Matt mentioned, we're really excited to take you through uh, the Airbnb platform, what you need to do to be successful. So personally, so my name is Pauline. I've been working um, for Airbnb for about two and a half years now. And I specifically look after uh, hotels, bed and breakfast, service apartment on the platform. Uh, my background, I've worked for another OTA before. I've also worked uh, for a hotel group. So hopefully I'll be able to understand your needs uh, and myself and, and the rest of the team working on uh, supporting hotels uh, will be able to help you be successful on the platform. Thanks, Pauline. And I'll just uh, stop our video um, just so there's better bandwidth. You can hear us better. Yeah, thanks, Smith. You're welcome. But um, so that's kind of an intro of who we are. And we just, uh, I just want to lay out the quick agenda for the rest of the presentation. And so, um, you know, as Edwin mentioned, we'll kind of talk through the STA and Airbnb partnership. We'll also talk you through how to get connected and also, once you're connected, how to increase rankings and reservations with our channel, as well as uh, getting set up. So we want to spend, you know, part of the time today uh, walking you through Airbnb and the setup. And we also want to uh, ensure we have some time at the end to answer any of your questions, um, if you have any. Uh, if you can go to the next slide, Edwin. Yeah, sorry. Yep. Um, so I think historically, and I'll kind of walk you through the, the introduction of how Airbnb Gun because I think that's pretty important to know and understand our brand. Um, but a lot of people associate Airbnb with um, not a lot of professional hospitality providers such as hotels and boutique hotels and bed and breakfast, hostels and so on. And so we really want to uh, ensure that you understand that our product is, can suit any professional's needs. Um, and we're very excited by a lot of the tools that we've been able to come, up, come out with over the course of the last 12 months. Um, and a lot of the exciting things that are that are uh, coming way in the next um, you know the next couple quarters and into 2020 which will suit a lot of your needs. Next slide please. So a quick background Airbnb started in kind of the back half of uh, 20 uh, or 2007 uh, with th these three guys uh, Nate on the left, Joe in the middle and Brian on the right and so Joe in the middle and Brian on the right were roommates at RISD, Rhode Island School of Design in, in the East Coast of the United States. And they both were studying design, both graduated with design degrees. And Joe then moved to San Francisco, Brian moved to Los Angeles. 
And not long after, Joe called Brian to see what he was working on in Los Angeles. And at the time, Brian was, you know, as a designer, he was designing toilet seats. So not exactly the career profession that he had in mind. Um, so Joe basically convinced him to pack up his car, quit his job, and move into his apartment in San Francisco. And that's exactly what, what he did. And so back, back in 2007, that's kind of when a problem occurred, which began Airbnb. And that problem was they both were unemployed, couldn't pay rent, and their landlord just raised the rent 25%. So quite a big problem. So that night with their third roommate, Nate, they basically brainstormed a couple ideas and being designers by trade, they realized a design conference was coming to San Francisco and all the hotel rooms were fully booked out. So they thought it was a good idea if they get three air mattresses, fill them up, put them on the living room floor and try to get three designers coming in that couldn't book a hotel for that week. And that's exactly what happened. So they got three designers in. Um, they, I believe, charged about $80 a night per person, which ultimately led them to starting what they call, that what they titled Air Bed and Breakfast. Um, and that was about 11 years ago. And so the business has grown, you know, exponentially since inception. And today we have over 81,000, we're in over 81,000 cities. We're in over, we're in 191 countries. Um, just to give you that size, 400 million guests checks in every about two minutes. And we have over 6 million listings globally. And so Airbnb, we as a company have a goal of ensuring 1 billion people use our platform each year by 2028. Our growing community and the growth of travel and tourism have put us well on the way to achieving this goal that we set for ourselves. So to give you another stat, Airbnb hosts have earned a total of over 41 billion in the last 10 years. So, you know, massive growth for a young company. Next. And I think it's really important, you know, our business is, is a lot different from other OTAs that you might associate yourselves with as a channel. And so I think to begin, it's just really important to understand who our guests are and why they're traveling on the Airbnb platform. And so you kind of break it up into these four bullet points, one being global minded. So our guests come from all parts of the world and many travel to all parts of that world. Um, it's really important that inclusivity and respect is a core value of our community, both for the hosts and for the guests traveling. Um, our guests are also loyal. So many of our guests come to Airbnb because they enjoy personal interactions and local, kind of like that local slice of life um, that hosts do provide in the hospitality that they do provide. They're also committed. So guests pay for their bookings up front and choose a listing based on a specific reason. So we have a lot of guests choosing listings for weddings or birthday parties or even schoolies if that's something that you allow. Um, and I would also note on the committed piece that uh, because they're searching for a, um, you know, a, usually searching for a specific reason, whatever that reason may be, um, as well, in addition to they pay the money up front. So we are actually the merchant of record and Pauline could get into that a little further in the presentation. Um, the guests are committed and they cancel a lot less. So our OTA is one of, or if not the, has the lowest cancellation rate, just around or over 10%, which is quite, which is really good. Um, as well as the guests are engaged. Um, so we have a messaging platform built in so hosts can connect with the guests and vice versa, the guests can uh, connect with the host as needed. And so you, you know a little bit kind of on Airbnb and the history. Um, you know, before we get started, I think it's important to note how you indeed do get connected to the Airbnb channel. And to start out, it's a very easy process. Um, go to www.airbnb.com slash B slash ANZ hotels. So actually you can just go to airbnb.com slash ANZ hotels and you will redirect you to, to this. Okay, page. disregard that then. Um, so just go to airbnb.com slash ANZ hotels and at the bottom of that sheet is a little form um, that allows you to kind of input a couple fields and what is it someone will reach out to? Yeah, so it goes to uh, our team uh, here in Sydney and then we'll be able to come back to you with next steps and more information around how to, to go about the setup as well. Great. Uh, next slide, please. Perfect. So uh, in the next uh, part of this webinar, I'm really going to be focusing on what you need to do to perform well in Airbnb. So it's great to be set up. 
uh, but what you want is actually start to get bookings and really see the benefits of our platform. What can be challenging, is, especially at the beginning, is what you need to do to do well on Airbnb might be quite different to what you need to do to do well on another OTA. Uh, so some things are important on, on our platform and will have a bigger impact on your ranking and your visibility, which might not be the case if you're using other channels. So I'm going to be focusing on two key factors when it comes to performances. The first one, uh, which you can see on the screen, uh, is what we call discoverability. So it's how to improve your search ranking. So it's kind of helping making sure that when guests are looking at Airbnb for specific date, specific location, they will want to click on your listing. Another thing is uh, our pricing structure. That can be again quite uh, confusing, so I'll try to explain that clearly. Uh, as a host uh, on the platform, you've got different pricing structure depending on, on what type of property you're managing. So if you're a property manager and you're managing a lot of holiday rentals, you've got two options. The first one is to uh, use our traditional fee structure where there is a 3% fee on the host side and then a service fee added on top of your rent. The service fee might vary from zero to 20%. That's the first option. The second option is to choose our host only fee, uh, which is 14% for property managers, and which will allow you to control your final rate, and then we won't be adding any additional service fee on top. If you are a traditional hospitality host, meaning you're managing a hotel, BNB, service apartment, etc., uh, we've got a new fee structure as of the 6th of June where there is no uh, service fee added on top and there is a fixed cost fee of 15%. What you're seeing in there as a 12% only for the first six months is actually not available anymore. Uh, it used to be if you sign up to Airbnb before the 6th of June. Uh, if you're an existing if you've listed your property before the 6th of June, you might still be able to get access to, our, uh, to this incentive fee and you might still be able to stay on our traditional fee structure. However, we don't recommend that because it doesn't give you control of your rate and you're usually a lot less successful on the platform. So if you go to the next slide, uh, it will give you a sense of how it looks uh, on the front end. So on the left hand side, you can see a screenshot of a host set up on our traditional fee structure. So you can see you've got the 90 rate. Then you've got a service fee added on top, which gives you a total rate. Whereas on the right hand side, this is if you were to switch to your, your fixed host fee only, where you've got a nightly rate, the service fee is clearly stated as being zero, and there is also a message added for the guests that let them know that the host is actually covering this fee. And so hosts that decide to switch to this fee structure have seen on average in Australia and New Zealand an increase in booking of around 45%, which is quite significant. Uh, and just on the next slide as well, uh, this is where you can go if you wish to change your fee structure. You just go to your account settings and then click on the service fee tab and you'll be able to easily switch uh, to the fee structure. Don't worry if you don't remember that, what we'll do as well as a follow-up from this webinar, we'll send you a, a, a checklist with a link to direct you straight to this page. Uh, another great option um, on Airbnb, which is really new, uh, so you might not, uh, not know that it is available, is to offer a non-refundable discount. So this is how it would look on the front end. So you can see on the right hand side, you've got their normal nightly rate, and then on the left, the non-refundable option. Uh, so it's only available if you've got a flexible or moderate cancellation policy, and it's just a great way to, one, increase your booking, so usually around 6% increase in bookings by doing that, but also make sure that you can secure your uh, bookings from the get-go, uh, and also have a lowest price point uh, on um, Airbnb searches, so you'll show up uh, with that price point as the uh, main one when guests are looking through different listings as well. So better in terms of price competitiveness. Uh, another good option when you are new to Airbnb is to offer a new hosting promotion. So that, that is a 20% offer that is only going to be applied on your first three bookings. So it's really specific. Uh, the reason why we encourage you to do that is 
when you first go live on Airbnb, you've got zero review. And when you don't have any review, your likelihood to get a booking is a lot lower because guests on Airbnb really trust reviews. Uh, and so being able to offer a promotion for your first rebooking is a great way to get those reviews. Hosts that have enabled this promotion have on average decreased the time it takes them to get their first booking by 30%. So it's has quite a big impact on your ability to get those first bookings. And also to give you a, a, a bit more insights into how our review system works, we don't show star rating until you've got at least three reviews. So that's why getting those first three bookings is, is really critical. So that was all about price. Uh, but what's quite different probably to other, other OTAs is what's really important uh, when it comes to your search ranking and your visibility on the platform is a guest experience. So we want to highlight listings and hosts while providing a great experience to, to our users. And when we think about a great experience, we take into account different uh, factors. The first one is your acceptance rate. So meaning uh, making sure you don't have to cancel bookings. The second one is what we call response rates. So guests can send booking inquiries, they can send questions as well. Uh, and it's making sure that you can respond to these inquiries as quickly as possible. We also take into consideration the number of times you cancel a booking, the number of times your listings are added to wish list. So feel free to ask your friends, your family to add your listings to their wish list because it does help with your ranking. Uh, number, of, number and qualities of reviews, how often guests click on the listing, and number of fast bookings. The next point is around merchandising. So as you would know, we've got, and as Matt mentioned, we've got hundreds of thousands of listings on the platform. So it can be quite difficult to stand out and to make sure that guests will actually find your property. So there are a few things you can do uh, to make sure you attract the right type of guests and to make sure your listings stand out. The first one, and it is crucial, is to ensure you've selected the right property type. If you are a service apartment, so if you're providing uh, daily housekeeping, if you've got additional facilities in your property, make sure you select service apartment as your category, not just apartment. Uh, and same uh, if you are a hotel, make sure you select that you are a hotel. And the reason why I, I highlight that is that we've seen a lot of, of professional hosts not selecting their, the correct category and it has a huge impact on their ability to get a few other options, uh, I won't go into details, but you've got the ability to uh, be part of what we call collections. Uh, so we currently have two collections, the family coll collection and the work collection. To be part of those two collections, you need to have specific type of amenities uh, and you need to be uh, reviewed by either family uh, guest or business. Uh, guests as well. You can find more information about that on our, on our website as well and we'll send you follow up with more information. But that's a great way to ensure that if your property is a perfect fit for business travelers, those business travelers can find you easily as well. And then we've got two different tiers of um, properties called Airbnb Plus and Airbnb Lux, uh, which you can apply to be part of as well. And then the last one is the pro marketing page. So it's just a page that you can build uh, to showcase all of your listings at once. And this, the photo here is actually a great example of one of Stas' clients um, that built out a really thorough uh, uh, listing, as you can see. And it's it has really high quality, clear imagery. Um, and you can see how many stars they've received from guests. And it really has a descriptive um, feel to it. Yeah, we'll so we're going to actually go back into the listing description and, and listing appeal in more details that are on. Uh, and we'll be able to also share more information and more examples of great um, pro marketing page. Okay, so that's that's it uh, around how to improve your ability to show up in the ranking and your ability to get guests to actually click on. But that's the first step. Once a guest has clicked on your listings, you actually want them to book that listing, not just look at it, book it. Uh, and so there are a few different factors, again, that uh, we take into account. First one uh, is your listing appeal. And so there are a few things that are really important. First of all, listing title. Please do not just put your room type name as a listing title. On Airbnb, you need to be more descriptive to 
bring a little bit of a personal aspect to it. So a, an easy example is that if you've got a standard room, could you add something like cozy room with um, really comfortable bed or cozy room in a uh, eco lodge, something like that. It is a lot more descriptive and it usually really helps with uh, getting those bookings. The second piece is uh, photos, uh, making sure you've got a different cover photo for each of your listing and uh, really high quality photos. That's quite um, an, a common one. I'm sure that you would have been um, getting some great photos for your other channels as well. But again, on Airbnb, uh, it is really important. And then the last piece, which can be quite new and quite different to the uh, OTAs, is description. We don't create any of the descriptions on your behalf. It's great because it means that you've got full control. You've got, it's a great uh, chance for you to you describe your property, to highlight what's unique about your property and why you think guests should stay with you. It does require a little bit more work at the beginning, but it will pay off. So please take the time to fill out all the different sections you know, in the description of your listings and bring a personalized aspect to it. My, my main tip is um, write a description as if you were describing your property to a friend. So be a little bit uh, more personalized, a little bit more informal, uh, so that the guests uh, feel like they already know you and they get a really good sense of what the property will, will offer. Uh, again, so I'll come back to the host profile uh, uh, after that, but what's quite different on Airbnb to that to uh, compare to the channel is that you have to create a host profile. So you've got your listing and you've got your host profile. Uh, and that brings a lot of trust, that is really key. And here is just a quick example of a, of a hotel in Sydney. And uh, as you can see, she's put the name of the property in a host name, but she's also put a personal name and she's got a great description of who she is, what the property is about. And just when you read the description as a guest, you're like, yes, I want to stay with them. So that's something that is really important as well. Trust. So Matt mentioned that uh, in the beginning of the presentation, but Airbnb is a community. It's based on trust. Uh, and so that is a really key point to make sure you can get bookings. What impacts the, the trust aspect is one, reviews. Uh, so if you've got a review score below four, your ability to get, to get bookings significantly drops. But also you want to get to at least 10 to 15 reviews to really see the bookings start to increase significantly. It's going to be quite slow uh, uh, until you reach 10 reviews on Airbnb. So really focus on getting those first 10 reviews. So with having a great price, great listings, and make sure of course that those reviews are going to be good ones. The second piece, which I've mentioned just earlier, is your host profile. So make sure you have a great picture, great description. And then on the right hand side is kind of the ultimate uh, goal is to become a super host on Airbnb. So we've got some specific criteria to become a super host, but this is the ultimate recognition. Uh, it really helps with bookability. You get a specific badge. Uh, a lot of uh, guests, loyal guests as well, filter uh, and only look at super host listings. And last point uh, is accuracy. Um, the more info, information guests can find upfront on your listing, the less likely they are to book your property. Again, when you look at Airbnb, there are so many listings. So it can be quite overwhelming for guests. So looking at lots of different listings, trying to choose which one they want to book. And if they look at a specific listing and some information is missing, they're not going to, most, most of the time, they're not going to take the time to send you a message to ask for more information. They're just going to move on and look at the next, next listing. So the best thing you can do is make sure all the information is in your listing straight away. So make sure you've selected all of your amenities that you've added to your bedding configuration. And then the last one is switching your location from a generic location, which is your default setting, to a specific location. If you're on the beachfront, if you're right in the city center, that is a key selling point. So you want your guests to know that from the, from the beginning. And that is something that you can change on your Airbnb listing if you're on the limited sync um, settings as well. And finally, uh, you want to make it easy for the guests to book your property and easy for the guests to communicate with you. Uh, so ease of booking goes with cancellation policy. Um, so 
As Matt mentioned, our cancellation rate on Airbnb is really low. It's on only around 10%. So we really recommend that if you're not already on a moderate or flexible cancellation policy, you switch to that. You're not going to get many more uh, cancellations because this is not common practice on Airbnb. However, your conversion rate is going to increase by 30%. So that's a great uh, one to do. And then just a few tips. You can add a welcome message on Airbnb so that any guests, um, when they make a booking with you, you, they get that automatically. And you can also create templates uh, on Airbnb. So if you know there are questions that come back often, just create a template uh, so that you don't have to always start from scratch. You can just reuse your template again and again. That's, that's it. Uh, I know it's a lot of information, uh, so you'll have to remember everything again. We'll send a follow-up with a, a bit of a checklist. But if there are five things you can remember today, and if you want to do that now, the first thing is, if you're an existing host, if you haven't done so yet, switch to the professional fee structure. It will have a huge impact of, on your ability to get bookings. Second thing is make sure you're on limited sync, uh, because if you're on limited sync, then you've got the ability to update your listing content directly on Airbnb. You've got a lot more options there, and you can easily see how it's going to look on the front end. Third, make sure you've created a great host profile. You've put your um, talking about your team. You've got a great uh, profile picture. Make sure you've got a pro marketing page and a welcome message. Fourth, as I just mentioned, adopt a flexible or moderate cancellation policy. It will help with your conversion rate and you won't be getting uh, a lot of cancellation on Airbnb anyway. And then finally, think about your price on Airbnb differently because you've got a different concept. So look at what is your, the nightly rate, the average nightly rate on Airbnb for your location and make sure that, that to start with, you're not offering a rate that is, that is a maximum 25% higher than the average in your location. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you need help with anything, so you can go to STAR if you've got any questions around how to map your listing, set up and managing your right plan. Uh, but you can come to us if you need any uh, tips on how to optimize your listings. Uh, we've got a specific email address called um, hospitality.anz at airbnb.com. Um, so feel free to reach out to us if you want help on how to best optimize your listings. If you've got questions around payment, reservation, etc., go to our customer service team. They are available 24 hours and they are really quick to answer. So reach out to them. And what we could do is we could send a follow-up with the email alias that Pauline just provided as well as the customer service numbers and the traditional hospitality page, just for everyone's reference. So don't worry if you missed it, we can, we can follow up with it on an email. Yeah, we can send that as well. Cool. Uh, so I will unmute everyone and there's question and answers. Uh, so feel free to ask any questions that you have. So, yep. So any questions team from for Matt and Pauline? Okay, this is Mike. I'll kick one off, please. You mentioned, uh, I'll just bring up some screenshots here, You, you uh, what you've been going through. You mentioned about, the, in, in talking about rates, um, to use some of the rate, Airbnb rate options, but when you're channel managed, you can't do that, as I understand it. Am I, am I wrong about that? So, uh, all of your rate plans would be mapped through your channel manager staff. Yes, However, the, the two options that I've mentioned, the non-refundable option and the new new host promotion are actually uh, available on Airbnb directly. It is okay. new, so that's why probably in the past uh, we might have said uh, something different, but this is new and you can actually uh, get access to that now. Okay, there's a slight problem with that because um, when you, once you are even on limited, uh, a limited connection, the many of the editing functions in your Airbnb listing are grayed out and not accessible and you cannot change a number of things in the rate structure for example you cannot if you have had a cleaning fee in there you cannot delete that without undoing the connection entirely and starting again is is there a reason for that or have i misunderstood something 
So if on limited sync, limited sync uh, only allows you to do the content on Airbnb. So everything that has to do with just no, 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 no. Limit, right? limit, a limited connection rates and availability only still right. grays out in the Airbnb extranet. The uh, panels, for example, for a cleaning fee is grayed out. You can't change them without disconnecting the app and starting the connection all over again. So it is correct that it is grayed out on Airbnb. However, you should not need to disconnect and reactivate the connection. Uh, that the, you should be able to update the cleaning fee on Star. Direct. No, there's no functionality to do so. Okay, so that's probably something for Star to to look into, and probably something that they could build on their end. Yeah. So once you connect to, uh, through a channel manager such as Star, all the rates are pushed through to Airbnb. So whatever is reading on Airbnb is coming through the Star. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But but there is no more uh, any there's no more functionality to, for example, remove a cleaning fee. No, correct. So that would need to be done by us if that's something that isn't available yet. So, so, so how would a property do that? Um, Edwin, do you know offhand if if that's uh, an option available to your clients? Not at the moment. Uh, Romeo, you have anything on um, that? What properties can normally do is um, within the mapping, you're able to go through and add those um, cleaning fees in or take them out and just push an update through and a resync to Airbnb and that'll update that. Yeah. I beg to differ with that. In my experience, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. So it's something, that's just something, I, I, I just wondered if I'm misunderstanding something, but I don't think I am from the yeah. answer. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, we can maybe follow up with you. Yeah, sure, uh, let's, let's yeah. okay, okay. Mike is on speed dial with us, so we can check that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Anybody else uh, has any question? Everybody's quiet. Uh, I've, I have uh, an announcement to make for the $100 travel voucher. And we have selected Lynn. She was one of the first participants who came in uh, and joined us. Uh, so Lynn, uh, we will send you the voucher through Airbnb. Uh, we've got your details in place here. Um, so we'll be in touch with you. And thank you for joining in. Um, you'll be sent a, a recording of this presentation as well. And thank you, Matt and Pauline, to educate uh, star potential and existing customers as well about an important connection. We truly appreciate your time. And thank you, guys, and look forward to the next webinar. Edwin, may I just ask one more question, please? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, as you go. Yeah, I hope the guys are gone. Yes. Sorry, it's Mike here. No, no, just no. An, an, one of the slides there, you were talking about the um, host fee. And if I understand correctly, and I've just got a, a screenshot that I took off the slide as it was up, is, it, is this in effect that you have an option now to delete the booking fee that the guest pays and substitute what is in effect commission paid by the property? Is that correct? Yes, correct, yes. Uh, and that you can, it's 15%, is that right? Uh, it depends. So have you been listing on Airbnb uh, for some time already, Mike? Well, no, I, I uh, run the smart guest management system. We, we look after a lot of small properties in New Zealand and we, we um, okay, deal so with a lot of small properties and connect them through Star. And one of the things we come across quite okay. often with our clients is that once they have connected for, um, we, we always go on the limited connection um, so that they can still manage their content directly. But on the limited connection, um, what a lot of puts a lot of properties off from being connected for channel management is that they are at a disadvantage compared with other OTAs because your rates that are sent through to you from Star um, at, at the same level, say as another OTA, will then have the booking fee added on top, yeah. and therefore makes you the booking with you more expensive than booking with another OTA. What I'm interested in this because a, a lot of properties say to us, oh, well, in that case, we won't connect because we want to be able to manipulate our rates in Airbnb directly. Exactly. So that's the reason why we've introduced this new structure. Okay. So, that so, so 
Is right. this an option? I, 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 sorry, the audio break up, broke up a little bit as you were going through this. Is this an option that is available now in a properties Airbnb extranet to opt for this? Correct, yes. So anyone uh, who is already listed on Airbnb, they can go to their account settings and then uh, there should be a tab called service fee and they can switch. Okay. All right. Now that's that's a very that's a very major step forward because it is a, um, you know, we we say to properties we have a choice three choices to make with Airbnb. Uh, one is to do nothing, and continue to manage it entirely yourself. The second level is iCal, um, so there's just a, a calendar update going through Star to you. Um, and the third option is full channel management, but the disadvantage of, this, of the channel management, even on a limited basis, is this rate situation. So if the commission structure, I'll call it commission rather than the host fee uh, for clarity, if that commission structure is an option, it will actually solve that problem. Yes, absolutely. And that's the feedback we've received uh, for quite some time and hopefully that means Okay, what I would ask you if you might do, if, if Edwin can pass on to you, uh, actually I think you may have it, Pauline, my email address um, from some prior, prior correspondence we had last year. If you could okay. just email me a summary of that, if you could, please. Yes, uh, Edwin, I'll let you organize that. Later. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. That was my, that's all my questions. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Mike. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Happy. Uh, any other further questions, team? All right. Okay, we're spot on time. Uh, five minutes, a little bit over, but we begin five minutes later. So, thank you guys, uh, and look forward to the next webinar. Thanks, Matt, Pauline, and thank you, Edwin. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you. Hey, thanks a lot for putting it up. Right. Take care.